Many people managing diabetes or trying to reduce their sugar intake often look to diet sodas like Diet Coke as a seemingly healthier option. On the surface, this seems like a wise substitution. Diet Coke contains zero calories, zero sugar, and doesn't immediately spike blood glucose levels, unlike traditional sugary sodas. The logic is simple. If sugar is harmful for people with diabetes, then replacing sugar with a non-nutritive sweetener should be beneficial, or at the very least, neutral. But the real story behind what happens in your body after just one sip of Diet Coke is far more intricate than it first appears. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about Diet Salon, a powerful blend of 13 natural ingredients, each carefully selected for their proven ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, enhance insulin sensitivity, and promote overall wellness. You can read more on diacelon.com. Beyond the label, your body engages in a complex web of biochemical reactions that influence everything from insulin signaling to gut health, appetite, brain chemistry, and even long-term metabolic function. These changes, though subtle at first, can accumulate over time and potentially affect the very conditions that people with diabetes are trying to control. So, let's explore the science of that harmless sip and why the reality might not match the marketing. The moment Diet Coke touches your tongue, your taste receptors detect intense sweetness. This sweetness comes from aspartame, an artificial sweetener approximately 200 times sweeter than sugar. Even though there's no actual sugar in the beverage, your brain interprets the taste as sugar-like and starts preparing for incoming glucose. This triggers the cephalic phase insulin response, a kind of anticipatory mechanism where your body releases a small amount of insulin before any real sugar enters your system. This anticipatory insulin release may seem minor, but in people with diabetes or prediabetes, the body's regulatory mechanisms are already compromised. Repeated activation of this insulin signaling in the absence of glucose can contribute to metabolic confusion. Over time, this can alter how your body responds to actual sugar, potentially dulling insulin sensitivity and making glucose control more difficult. In fact, studies suggest that the repeated mismatch between sweet taste and caloric content may disrupt hormonal and metabolic cues, impairing the body's ability to regulate hunger, fullness, and insulin efficiently. It's a common assumption that zero calories and zero sugar mean zero impact. Unfortunately, that assumption doesn't account for the physiological and hormonal reactions your body still undergoes in response to the artificial sweeteners used in Diet Coke. Though Diet Coke doesn't raise blood glucose levels directly, the indirect effects can be significant. Artificial sweeteners can affect the gut microbiome, a community of trillions of bacteria that regulate digestion, immunity, and metabolism. Research shows that regular exposure to artificial sweeteners like aspartame and acesulfame potassium may lead to an unfavorable shift in gut bacteria composition. In diabetic individuals, such imbalances have been correlated with increased insulin resistance, systemic inflammation, and elevated blood glucose over time. These microbiome alterations may also influence how nutrients are absorbed and processed, and they may play a role in amplifying hunger signals or impairing satiety cues. That first seemingly innocent sip of Diet Coke may therefore contribute to a cascade of microbial and hormonal shifts that compromise metabolic stability in the long run. Another subtle but powerful consequence involves appetite and cravings. The human body is biologically programmed to associate sweetness with caloric intake. So when you drink Diet Coke, your brain expects energy to follow. But when it doesn't, the body registers a kind of metabolic disappointment. This mismatch can lead to heightened cravings, especially for high carb or sugary foods. Over time, this creates a behavioral pattern where artificial sweeteners may stimulate overeating rather than help reduce calorie intake. Several studies have confirmed that individuals who regularly consume diet sodas tend to eat more, not less, often choosing more calorie-dense and nutritionally poor options later in the day. For someone with diabetes, these patterns are especially dangerous as they can result in glycemic variability and chronic blood sugar fluctuations. This process called caloric compensation reflects a deeper neurochemical feedback loop where artificial sweetness becomes a trigger for appetite, dysregulation, and poor dietary control. Beyond metabolic and hormonal signals, 
artificial sweeteners also manipulate your neurochemistry, particularly the brain's dopamine system, which governs reward and pleasure. In a normal setting, sugar consumption leads to a dopamine surge that corresponds with the caloric value of the food. However, when something tastes sweet without providing energy, as with Diet Coke, that reward cycle is disrupted. Over time, your brain learns that it can no longer trust sweetness as an indicator of energy, and it may become less responsive to natural sweet flavors. This can lead to a phenomenon where your brain requires increasingly intense or frequent sweet stimuli to trigger the same dopamine release, potentially fostering a kind of food addiction behavior. In diabetics who are already vulnerable to dietary temptations and emotional eating, this disruption of the reward system may further erode dietary discipline and promote dependence on ultra-processed foods that worsen blood glucose control. One overlooked yet significant component of Diet Coke is caffeine, which adds another layer of complexity. A standard 12-ounce can contains about 46 milligrams of caffeine, which acts as both a stimulant and a diuretic. While this amount may not cause acute dehydration, chronic intake of caffeine-laden beverages can subtly affect hydration status, particularly if not counterbalanced with adequate water intake. This matters for people with diabetes because the kidneys play a vital role in blood glucose regulation and toxin elimination. Dehydration, even mild, can lead to elevated blood sugar levels by concentrating glucose in the bloodstream and reducing kidney efficiency. Moreover, excessive caffeine can stimulate cortisol production, which in turn can raise blood glucose. For someone already managing diabetes, this hidden influence of caffeine can exacerbate glycemic instability and undermine efforts to stay within target glucose ranges. It may be surprising, but numerous studies have linked diet soda consumption to weight gain rather than weight loss. This seems counterintuitive. After all, diet sodas contain no calories. So how could they contribute to weight gain? The answer lies in how artificial sweeteners alter the body's perception of hunger, fullness, and reward. People who consume diet sodas may subconsciously eat more, thinking they've saved calories on the drink. This phenomenon, known as the compensation effect, leads people to indulge in higher calorie foods later, often nullifying the calorie deficit they thought they had achieved. For diabetics who need to monitor both caloric and carbohydrate intake closely, this behavioral compensation can be detrimental. Additionally, the chronic intake of diet soda may impair leptin signaling, a hormone responsible for regulating satiety. When leptin function is compromised, the brain doesn't recognize fullness as effectively, increasing the likelihood of overeating and subsequent weight gain two key contributors to worsening insulin resistance. So why do many doctors and nutritionists caution against frequent consumption of diet soda despite its zero-calorie status? The main concern isn't short-term effects, but cumulative, long-term disruptions to metabolic and hormonal systems. Chronic intake of diet sodas has been associated with increased risk of developing metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions including abdominal obesity, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol, hypertension, and elevated fasting glucose. Each of these components significantly increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, which is already the leading cause of death among diabetics. Long-term consumption of artificial sweeteners may also blunt the effectiveness of glucose-lowering medications and lifestyle interventions, creating a metabolic environment that is increasingly difficult to manage. The overall effect is not immediate harm, but a slow erosion of the body's ability to maintain homeostasis, making diabetes management progressively more challenging. Psychologically, Diet Coke can become more than just a beverage. It can evolve into a deeply ingrained habit or even a dependency. Many people associate the act of drinking a diet soda with specific routines, a reward during a stressful workday, a companion during meals, or a comfort item when feeling fatigued. These emotional and behavioral associations can reinforce consumption patterns that are hard to break. For diabetics, reliance on artificial sweeteners can serve as a crutch that prevents full transition to healthier dietary patterns. Over time, this reliance may undermine motivation to make the harder, more impactful changes that lead to lasting blood sugar improvement, such as increasing fiber intake, reducing processed foods, and focusing on whole, nutrient-dense meals. In this way, the emotional habit of drinking Diet Coke 
may silently sabotage larger health goals. Emerging research continues to uncover disturbing links between artificial sweeteners and glucose intolerance. In landmark studies, including one published in Nature in 2014, scientists discovered that artificial sweeteners significantly altered the composition and function of gut microbiota in both mice and humans. These changes led to reduced glucose tolerance, a precursor to diabetes. What this means is that even though sweeteners like aspartame don't directly add sugar to your bloodstream, they can indirectly impair your body's ability to handle real sugar. For diabetics, this is particularly concerning as any additional impediment to glucose metabolism could exacerbate the condition. Worse still, these effects are not easily reversible. Once the microbiome is altered, it can take months or even years of dietary repair to restore balance, especially if artificial sweeteners continue to be consumed regularly. Cardiovascular health is another area where diet sodas show troubling correlations, particularly in people with diabetes. Studies have shown that regular consumption of artificially sweetened beverages may be linked to higher risks of heart disease, stroke, and hypertension. The proposed mechanisms include increased inflammation, impaired insulin signaling, and altered lipid metabolism, all of which are already elevated in diabetic individuals. Moreover, these effects may be compounded when diet soda consumption is paired with other poor dietary habits, such as high intake of refined carbs, saturated fats, or sedentary behavior. In short, while Diet Coke doesn't raise your blood sugar on its own, it may serve as a metabolic amplifier quietly worsening underlying cardiovascular risk factors over time. Let's not overlook bone health, especially in aging adults with diabetes. Diet Coke contains phosphoric acid, which is used to enhance flavor but may have a downside. It can reduce calcium absorption and lead to weakened bones. While one can of Diet Coke won't give you osteoporosis, habitual consumption over many years may slowly deplete bone mineral density especially in people who already have lower dietary calcium intake. For diabetics who are already at increased risk of bone fractures due to nerve damage, poor circulation, or other complications, reduced bone strength can be a serious and often overlooked threat. Maintaining bone health requires a comprehensive approach, including physical activity, calcium and vitamin D intake, and minimizing substances that leach minerals from the bones, including phosphoric acid from sodas. In conclusion, while a single sip of Diet Coke is unlikely to wreak havoc on your metabolic system, the cumulative effects of frequent, long-term consumption can be considerable. From altered insulin signaling and gut microbiome disruption to increased cravings, weight gain, and elevated cardiovascular risk, Diet Coke can subtly undermine the very health objectives it claims to support. For people with diabetes, who must manage multiple interconnected systems in the body, even small daily habits can create ripple effects that grow over time. Rather than relying on artificially sweetened beverages, it is far more beneficial to develop sustainable habits around whole foods and naturally hydrating drinks that support the body's complex regulatory systems. So next time you reach for that can of Diet Coke, remember, it's not about what happens in the next five minutes, it's about what happens over the next five years. Understanding the full impact of just one sip is the first step toward making smarter, more empowering choices for your long-term health.